Viewers and subscribers, please subscribe to Saga News TV and give a like and share. The police seized three firearms during a police military operation at 100 Sunrise Crescent in St. Andrew on Monday. The weapons include one rifle and two handguns. The police also seized several rounds of ammunition. Head of the Jamaica Constable Force, Cooperative Communication Unit, Senior Superintendent of Police, SSP Stephen Lindsay said several people have so far taken into custody, among them persons of interest in a number of crimes. She said at least one of them will be charged for illegal pos possession of firearm. SSP Lindsay stated that Monday's operation in response to recent incident of shooting and robberies in the Sunrise Crescent area, the operation began about 5 a.m. It was conducted by personnel from the St. Andrew South Police Division, the Caribbean Search Century K9 Division, special, specialized operation on the Jamaican Defense Force. At um, 100 Sunrise Crescent, where uh, there's a strong police military operations that's going on. So far, they have seized three illegal firearms to include one rifle and two semi-automatic pistol and a number of assorted rounds of ammunition. This operation started sometime after five. It's a planned intelligence driven operation. Um, the police from the St. Andrew North Division, which is a, a, one of the lead in this operation, being supported by the specialized operations the branch, as well as members of the Jamaica Defense Force. We also have members of the search center and our K-9 division as part of this search. So this um, operation is in response to some incidents of robbery and shooting, etc., in the general um, Sunrise, Andre Lane, and some Chancery Street um, area in recent times, where they they are targeting some individuals. So far, they have a no taken a number of persons in custody, some of whom are already persons of interest in previous crimes committed in the space, as well as some persons who are likely to be suspects. We know that of the persons um, taken into custody, at least one of them will be charged for illegal possession of firearm and other offenses under the firearm act because the gun was found in his actual position one of the weapons seized so that person is now being processed at the constant spring criminal investigation department but i i believe that today's operation is a good indication of how um, the police are pushing forward to reduce the incidence of violence in this particular area. It's a big um, community, even though it's one address. And I believe that the persons in this resident can breathe a sigh of relief this, um, this, from today for the rest of the year, because these persons and these weapons are no longer a part of the community. So it's commendable that the police are pushing. I know that they are still carrying out operations and still carrying out searches. And they intend to carry this approach to the end of the year, because we really want to see an end to the violence and the robbery and the incidents of shooting in this particular community. A chef who was convicted of unauthorized possession of ammunition under the new firearm act was last Thursday sentenced to 20 years and 10 months in prison. Delroy Fletcher, alias Pencil, was given the length custody dial. Sentence when he appeared in the gun court division in the home circuit court in downtown Kingston. Fletcher, a chef from Tex Lane in Rose Garden, Kingston, was charged after 35 rounds of ammunition and a magazine were allegedly found by the police at his home. Prosecutors lead evidence that on November 10, 2022, law enforcer from the Kingston Central Police conducted a raid at Fletcher's house where the illegal items were found. He was subsequently taken into custody and charged under the new firearm act which was implemented the same month. Fletcher was booked for the offence. Prime Minister Andrew Olness announced last month in Parliament that the act is to be amended to ensure that there is no ambiguity and no lack of clarity in the application of the penalties recommended by this House Parliament. The announcement came a day after Director of Public Prosecution, DPP Paula Lewin, indicated that her office would be appealing the life sentence that was imposed on 26 years old at Lee Murray of March Pen Road St. Catherine, who was caught with an illegal gun, with a view of having the sentence set aside. The DPP, in a statement, 
at the time noted that the sentence exceeded the punishment that is stipulated by the Firearm Act. Murray was sentenced on October 26 to serve 15 years before eligible for parole for parole consideration. In addition, he was sentenced to 9 years behind bars for an authorized position of ammunition. But Lewin pointed out that the maximum sentence which could have been imposed on Murray for a position of prohibited weapon was 25 years with him having to serve 10 years before being eligible for parole consideration. Chef Justice Brian Skyers, Chief Justice Brian Skyers, and some local defense attorney have also lamented due to the tough sentence under the new firearm act. Gun case may not be cleared by way of guilty plead by the accused person because the accused person are mostly opting to have their case tried. 